Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another YouTube command return episode. We're on to crossing the Dnieper. Yes, indeed, we'll be crossing it. Right here near Kremenchuk. Which we had to secure the bridge in last mission around this uh, lower Dnieper mission. And we have to take Saporoshi and Krivoy Rog. Here and also noting here, in fact, the, there's a slightly interesting thing is most of the German division actually holding up the front line are not dug in. Also, numerous elite divisions are actually veteran here, or at least representative veteran, according to the note, due to the fact that they're in a severe state of disorganization. So, there's some fun things here. A lot of units not dug in, some which are, in this case, forming a secondary defensive line, but these infantry divisions will most likely, in several cases, be eaten up. Also, should have some chance of actually doing some damage to the Panzer divisions holding out in the open using my artillery. Noting, though, on the other hand, I do have very little in terms of armor. I've got a few. Mechanized core, a single tank core, all equipped with cartouches, but otherwise I'm largely relying on infantry. So there are some things here going on for me, and I still need to preserve my armor reasonably well. But let us get on with it. Let us begin reducing this little pocket of fun. Hurrah, and all that. And let's see if we can't push across here. Losing one tank, well, that's grand. Absolutely grand. Trying to somehow forge your way across. There we go. Bridgehead formed. That should help a bit. Just a wee bit. There we go. That is one Panzer Division down for the count. Hmm, I could shift them up there, shift you in there. And in fact, manage to destroy an entirely second Panzer Division. I'll just get an option for a bridge here, so I'll probably go for that, so I can sort of keep things flowing here a bit more smoothly, but there you go. Knocked out several Panzer Divisionen, leaving him down with only the sixth, and then the others got the Tordenkopf and the Groß Deutschland. And a bunch of infantry divisions basically holding up things here. I could try and launch an assault, but that might be a bit painful. And then again, painless is not the Soviet way. There we go, another penetration made along the German front line. And of course, in terms of reserves, I mean, they've got the course touch, but as the Panzer Division is already going to sort of be left things up, so there'll likely be some kind of retreat here from the eastern front, sort of, well, eastern side of this, and sort of form up a new front line, perhaps a bit more cohesively, which should open up for further infantry pushes, plus some pushes here with my armor. But let's end the turn and see how this actually works out. Panzer Division pulling out towards Krivoy Rock. One Panzer Division, which I actually forgot on the 16th, pulling back as well. Gauss Deutschland Torn Cup falls from the infantry division slowly beginning to move westwards, some forming up here around the bridgeheads. As much as they now can. Still trying to hold up that bridge. On top of everything. Quick counterattack here from the Gauss Deutschland, but overall limited activity in terms of offensive action. And really, really bad weather sets in. Yikes. Hardly what I'd call ideal, but... There's a slight opening here. Got a mechanized core. Either way, this is looking less than ideal, but a bit of artillery always helps. I can actually do something, well, I could, but someone's out of supply already. I could try and launch an attack here, but it would really only be to the advantage of the fascists, I feel. The weather slightly against me, although I have armor, I have artillery, so I mean. Not all bad, but could on the other hand be better as well. On the 
on the hand would be more an engagement to my favour, since I'll, well... They're a lot, worth a lot less than, you know, the Panzer gun and these which actually do some serious damage to. So that's nice and lovely. Progress overall being made. Really tempting you to try and push, but at the same time I'd rather wait for some better weather. Which hopefully should appear by the next turn. But I really need to open up this bit, and again, you know, the fact I have to attack across the river in bad weather is not really very good. So I'm rather going to hold off on that for now. Tempting, so tempting, but no. Yet, comrades, we shall not be attacking in the mud. It gets in everywhere. And it's really sticky. Oh, this is bad. They've been cornered, and there we go. Destroyed. That was definitely unfortunate, but there you go. What happens once the weather turns on you? Fascist weather. Hopefully cleared up my next... Yes, yes. Oh, God. Damn it. No. Which really means I'm in serious trouble here with this advance. It's, well... Most of the units out of supply. This is hardly what you call good. Need to quickly get on to Kriboy Rock. At least we got this part of the front line actually getting somewhere. Which I suppose I should categorize as a minor miracle. Mm. Going to form me up into fresh replacements. That hurt. But this part of the offensive has definitely stalled quite considerably. And unfortunately. But there you go. The fates of war. And we go, Groß Tight and Panzer is overall being shifted down south. The Tolton Cup left to hold back the rest of the otherwise depleted forces. Our uh, fascist opponent probably feels a bit confident in that. Since again, the weather is definitely not helping me there. Oh, then all of a sudden it gets better, eh? Clearly the weather is counter-revolutionary. There we go, the gore start to not really hang much of a chance in this one. And now things are pretty much falling apart for the Germans all across. Not really much left to hold up things. There might be some reinforcements, I'm not entirely sure though. But that would be the only thing they could really, you know, throw in to salvage this mess. Hopefully they won't. So in the turn and see what happens. Will there be some reinforcements and inter reinforce the ailing forces of the Wehrmacht? Doesn't look like it. Oh, that's bad news for the Großdeutschland. I left without forces that can do anything, although they do manage to block up my primary armoured assault. But the infantry should be able to clear out the flanks somewhat. There we go, nothing to actually stop. There we go. 
brilliant victory, comrades, despite terrible fascist counter-revolutionary weather. Bit of a brutal battle, real roll, I mean, not really much again, you know, highlighting on the defence of the Germans really need to be dug in, otherwise they're going to be in a lot of trouble, and of course, also highlighting what you need to do with your armour, striking through places here, and then trying to basically over stretch the fascists because always I mean, a one versus one engagement we're not really going to do much again what you want to do is basically force them out of their defensive positions and sort of on the run then sort of you know try to handle them in larger numbers using your larger numbers so little fun game here hopefully you enjoyed another episode of the unity of command ret turn bits here with me your host imperial dane if you did of course subscribe share tell your friends if you didn't well of course well you can't well I suppose write in the comments what other World War II or other strategy games might you want to see. Though mind you, I won't be casting anything like Hearts of Iron. That's simply, you know, too bloody much to cover. So, this is Imperial Dane saying cheers. <laughs>